if it's anything fragile, it'll get completely destroyed. I mean, it looks like someone sat on this and crushed it or stomped on it. Like, this one looks like someone just put their foot on it and stomped on it. You should have seen the box that it came in. And this is also all soaking wet. Like, geez, have a little respect for people's stuff, man. Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura kicking around the package. Be sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Garrett on 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Zezray or Ezray Studios Combatants Wave 1 Fight for Glory figures. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the packaging that got completely destroyed by China Post. Alright, so as you can see here, they do come in a blister card style packaging, which I'm really not a fan of. Do prefer boxes, but they're fine. But they did get completely destroyed. His packaging didn't get as destroyed as these two here, so we'll just go over his. And then I'll show you the bios of the other two characters later on, so if you would like to read them you will be able to pause the video and give it a read. So on the front of the packaging here, we do have the blister card here displaying the figure and the accessories. On the top, this age is 15 and up, warning, blah, blah, blah. On the bottom says, combatants fight for glory. This is Medokis, also known as Reaper. Probably didn't pronounce his name correctly. Then on the side here, it just has a little read up on combatants fight for glory there, which you really won't be able to read. There's the other side with a cool image. Of the figure, there's the bottom. We also do get the Ezrae or Zezrae Studio logo there as well. And then the back there, we do get another cool image of the figure, and it does have a bio, so a very long bio. So if you would like to read Reapers, you can pause that right now and read it on up. And then if you would like to read the bio for Devilfish here, if you can read it, you could pause it now and try to read it on up. And then if you want to give Hyena's bio a read, his, the cardboard piece got it, it completely soaked man so if you would like to read that i'll try to get it without light reflecting off it the best i can there there we go you can pause right now and give it a read but anyway that is the packaging let's get these figures open to take a closer detailed look at all three of these awesome gladiator figures Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and before we continue on as you can see we are reviewing three figures so this is going to be a much longer review most likely and one other thing i just wanted to mention the arm armor on both these figures i actually did swap them so this one was actually on devilfish's left arm and then this armor was actually on reaper's right arm so something else that's really cool about this figure line here just like fuchs articulated icons line not only can you swap their accessories you could swap their armor or harnesses or loincloths as well so that is uh, another cool little added bonus to this gladiator line here so we will take a look at my favorite character first which is devilfish here and really dig the way this figure turned out one issue about these figures all of them it's like they tried to add a, a wash maybe you see how the black paint is and up here some sloppy paint work and there's some sloppy paintwork in certain parts to these figures, which does kind of suck, because they are import price, man. They're, they're pretty pricey figures, so definitely not too happy about that. But the head sculpt on this dude looks dope, man. The eyes, both painted, looking in the same direction, and I love that look they gave him where, where their head's tilted down, and it looks like they're looking up. Very uh, menacing look right there. His beard looks great. Clean paintwork on that, and I love the different colors throughout the hair on the beard same with the eyebrows as well but we do have some uh, like paint splatter from the eyebrows on his wrinkled forehead there and he does have veins popping out as well that sucks man that that paint right there damn and then the torso here we do get this harness here and armor on the arm which i did mention that i did swap with reaper there but the detail on this looks great i love the sculpted texture to the strap there i like how they painted the buckle silver and then the ring right there holding it all together and the armor looks dope too a little bit of battle damage on it more uh paint paint spots some blue paint on there which is like what the hell man 
But very nice sculpt work on the muscle definition there, as you can see. Same with on the front there. And I believe they, they all share the same body mold. Sculpt of the arms look pretty good. Like right there, you could tell they definitely went a little too heavy with the wash there. But I do dig the gauntlet on the left arm. And it is a separate piece. You can remove it if you want to. Hands look pretty good too. Then there's the armor on the right arm. Really dig the way that looks. A little bit of da battle damage on it. We do get the straps on the other side there. And then the loincloth turned out... The sculpt of it turned out really nice with the sculpted wrinkles and the sculpted texture to it as well. There is some sloppy paint where the gold meets the blue as you can plainly see there. So that that is uh, pretty damn disappointing. And even some of the blue bleeding onto the gold. The silver paint is really clean though. And then the back we do get a holster for his knife which turned out great. I love the uh, tiny sculpt detail on the stitching. That looks so dope. And then like those pins and stuff. Really cool looking but more sloppy paint on the gold. Like I said, the sculpted texture to the loincloth looks pretty cool. And then the legs there, we get some more veins sculpted on there. He does have veins on his arms as well, which I forgot to mention. And then we do get the armor on the legs there from the knee down. And these look beautiful, man. Very nice sculpt and paint work on these. And there's battle damage to them as well. Especially this, man. That looks so dope. And it does have a cool sculpted texture, like a brass like like a brass or, or a metal type look, you know what I mean? And then there's the back of them, get sculpted wrinkles and stuff on them. Pretty cool. And then we do get the feet there with the blue wrappings. And I love the way the wrappings look. Beautiful uh, sculpt on that, man. And you can see a little bit of their toes, which could have used a little more skin tone color there. And then the bottom of them, we do get some pretty cool uh, sculpted detail on the wrappings and some peg holes. So... Devilfish definitely turned out pretty damn dope. Then next here we do have Hyena. And this dude looks freaking dope, man. I, I love that very menacing look to him. Just like with Devilfish, he has that head tilted down, eyes looking up look. Very, very dope looking, man. And then we do have a little bit of pain issues going on around the ear right there. And his wash looks a bit better compared to Devilfish there. Looks like he has a scar on his cheek. That's dope. Eyes both painted looking in the same direction. Eyebrows are painted pretty good, man. Then we do get that little uh, chin beard going on there. And I do like how they added uh, some black paint in between the lips there. And then for the torso here, his harness also looks dope, man. Very nice job on that. The paint's pretty good on it. Not too bad. I do like the sculpted texture on this piece up there. That looks pretty dope. Then there's the back of it. And then we do get the... Uh, it seems like these harnesses are like paints rubbing off onto the figures i think that's what's causing that like uh that wash type look because you can see it all over him man right where the, the the harness lays on the figure so they definitely need to uh fix up on that big time man but he does have a nice wash throughout the muscle definition which looks pretty good same with on the front of the torso and if you notice the upper torso is more matte and the lower torso kind of has like a, a glossy look to it, which is a bit odd. And we do get uh, veins like sculpted up here, which look pretty cool. Then his left arm, he does have a hyena tattoo, which is dope. We do get the veins sculpted on there, a little bit of that wash. Pretty clean paint on them. And I do like the wash on the lighter part. I don't know if there's a wash on the dark brown part there. But I do love his uh, fish scale armored arm. That looks freaking dope, man. That's probably the, the coolest armor out of all the figures for the arm there. Really dig the way that looks, man. Be careful, though, because this piece, paint does rub up on it, and the paint is rubbing off onto his right hand, so just be cautious of that there. Then for his loincloth, I do like that. I think it's a tiger there. Looks pretty cool. And the paint on his seems to be much more cleaner compared to Devilfish. The loincloth itself does have that sculpted texture. I do like the lacing on the back right there. That's pretty cool. And then we do get these pieces hanging down. And clean paintwork for the gold and the silver. It looks like they, they needed to add a little more gold paint on that one there. And I do like the, the stitching once again, man. Really cool looking tiny sculpt detail. Then the legs, we do get some veins sculpted on there. Knee joints look pretty good. And then he just has armor on his left leg. And this thing... The, the leg armor looks beautiful on these figures, man. They did a, a very nice job with them. Clean paintwork on them as well. And then I do dig the wrapping around the leg there with that light wash painted on there as well. And then we do get the, the beige wrappings on his feet also with a little bit of that black wash as well. And then there's the bottom of them. Same thing as uh, Devilfish with the sculpt and the peg holes there. So that is Hyena. And then last 
but not least, we do have Reaper here, and this dude turned out pretty damn cool also. Head sculpt looks pretty good. One thing I'm mostly disappointed with is they missed a, a ton of paint on the beard, man. What is that all about, dude? So definitely not happy with that, and he has some very heavy shading or wash around his eyes right there. So they definitely went a little too heavy with that around the eyes. I do dig the scar going down the right cheek there. Eyebrows are painted pretty clean, and the rest of the beard on this side looks fine. Just this side looks like, uh, looks like crap, man. Hair looks pretty good, too, with the sculpt. And the paint's clean where the skin tone does meet the hair there. Then his harness looks pretty good, too. Clean paint on that. And I do like the sculpted texture to the straps there. There's the back of it. And then he has a, a tattoo of the Roman numeral numbers, 1 through 5 there. I'm guessing that's how many kills he has. That's pretty cool, though. And as you can see where the strap is, that's where you see, like, some paint rub or something. So I definitely think the straps are causing that so that that definitely is not good there's like yellow all over here and brown and stuff so like I said man they definitely need to fix up on that and then the armor here which is originally devil fish's armor looks really nice man and it is a softer rubbery type plastic as you can see there but very clean paintwork on the silver man and I, I do like the sculpt work of, of these silver pieces as well just on the inside of it, over here, very sloppy paintwork, as you can see there. There's gold bleeding all over this brown right there. But the, the, the rest of the armor looks really cool, though. And then the inside of it looks good, besides the paint, the paint bleeding all over this piece there. But I do like the sculpted wrinkles and everything on that. I think that looks pretty dope. And then the arm here, you do get a little bit of sculpted veins, that black wash all over the collarbone and the left arm there. And his gauntlet looks pretty cool, too. I think it's the same gauntlet as uh, Devilfish there. I like the wrappings on it, though. And then his loincloth does have a, a nice sculpted texture to it. And I do love all the, the buckles and belts and straps and stuff. That looks really dope. And his loincloth is painted really clean, man. And you can see the stitching on all the uh, belts there or straps. That looks really cool. There's the back. He does have a holster for one of the swords. Very nice sculpted wrinkles on the loincloth as well. Then for the legs here, we do get the veins sculpted on there. And then his lower leg armor is also done beautifully, man. Really, really nice paint and sculpt detail on that. The, the paint's really clean on the gold there. So definitely a big plus on that. And then we do have the ties there, which are holding the armor together. And I do like the sculpted texture to the armor. Very similar to uh, Devilfish's armor. Then he has the same feet as... The other two, but he has uh, brown wrapping, so you can see right there. And then there's the bottom of them. So overall, the detail on these figures, I, I think, turned out pretty good. There is a good amount of pain issues, which I'm definitely not too happy about. And hopefully, with the next wave of figures, they do touch up on that and, and fix those pain issues. Because paint rubbing like crazy on these, and that definitely is not a good thing, especially with the price point. Of these figures they're about 60 bucks each so not too happy about that bad paint rub man so besides that though the detail the the, the sculpt detail on these look great man and the paint's pretty clean for the most part on these figures but anyway let's continue on moving on to the accessories each figure is included with a pretty good amount of stuff but they are each included with some pretty cool stuff so we'll go over each figures accessories so starting it off with reaper here he is included with two swords a shield and a helmet so for the swords here we do get two different gladiator type swords and i dig the way these both turned out i, I do like the the silver paint that they used for the blades and they are very sharp so be careful of that and then the handles look pretty good too so very nice uh work on these swords one thing I, I do wish with each one of these figures i wish they were included with alternate hands at least or even alternate head sculpts that would have been cool as well but at least some alternate hands man then he is also included with his shield and this thing is is beautifully done really dig the way this looks it does have that cool sculpted texture to it to give it that real metal type look and the paint for the gold is pretty clean as well and then we do get like a darker gray and then like a silverish type color. And I do like the, the design on the edge of the shield as well. Then the inside there, 
we do get that nice sculpted texture in them. We do get two straps so you could slide it onto his arm and either have him grip onto it or you could just slide it all the way up the arm there. So we do get the shield and then finally we do get his helmet which is made of a softer rubbery type plastic and this thing turned out really nice too man. The paint is pretty damn clean on it for the gold and it does have that uh, cool sculpted texture to the helmet as well. And the way you get this on all you do is just slide it over the, uh, the the figure's head and then there you go you have him ready for a gladiator fight and then he also does have a holster on the back so you could store any sword in here doesn't matter which one they both do fit in there which is pretty cool so that is the accessories for reaper now let's go over hyena's accessories now for hyena's accessories which is this guy here i think he comes with the coolest and best stuff so he does have an interchangeable right arm because as you just saw he does have the armored arm all you do is just pop it off at the shoulder you gotta pop his hand off as well and then you just pop the arm on you could have the regular arm on him without armor there then he is included with my favorite type of gladiator or roman sword which is like the basic sword this is what uh maximus used a lot in the movie gladiator and this thing turned out great, man. I, I love the, the color of the blade there, and then the handle turned out pretty good too. Clean paintwork on that. Then he is included with a battle axe as well. And this does have some battle damage to it, which looks pretty cool. And I do like how on the edge it is a more of like a silverish paint compared to the gray. The handle looks dope too, so that turned out really nice. And then he is included with a helmet as well. And definitely do like the the look of this one a bit more compared to the one reaper is included with but it is also a softer rubbery type plastic and i feel like this causes paint rub i feel like that's where that came from on his ear so just be cautious of that but the way you get this on this one's more of a tighter fit so like i said i think that's going to cause paint rub but you can even see his eyes where the eye holes are so that's pretty cool but i love the way this looks on the figure man that is pretty dope and you could use the helmets on whichever figure you want like i said the accessories oh my god see what i mean that that definitely is causing paint rub the accessories like i said you, you could use with either figure and then we do get the ginormous shield here and this thing looks fantastic man we got a couple battle damage marks the the paintwork on it looks dope of the two lion like looking creatures there and even like the bolts and everything look pretty cool and the paints are really really well done on this one then there's the inside of it with these straps and then there's these straps same thing as the other shield for reaper really cool looking accessories for these figures here so that is hyena's accessories now let's take a look at devilfish's accessories and for devilfish here he is included with the weakest amount of accessories as you can see he only has three things he isn't even included with a helmet which is a bit disappointing that's why I, I feel like that maximus helmet from gladiator that we will be getting free with the purchase of wave one i feel like that's why he's making that helmet to make up for not giving devilfish a helmet there so what he is included with he is included with a knife here and this thing looks dope man very nice job on that with the paint and the sculpt and everything. And this can be holstered in the sheath on his back there. And it fits in there perfectly as you can see. Very cool looking. And then we do get his trident. And this is very sharp so be careful of that. Pretty cool looking. So we get that. And then he is also included with a net here. Which is a biatch to get off. Because they have it wrapped around here. And then they like stabbed it through there to keep it on there. It's... A bit of a pain in the ass to get off the trident, but I mean it looks fine. It's just made out of string as you can see there. And I forgot what you would call this gladiator who used the net and the trident, but it was a sp specific type of gladiator that used uh, the, the net and trident there. But like I said, he comes with the weakest amount of accessories, but you can give whichever accessories you want to either figures so that is all the accessories included with these combatants fight for glory figures let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of these gladiators and as you can see they all seem to be pretty much the same height so we'll go with reaper's height here and to the very top of his head looks like he stands around six inches and three quarters of an inch tall 
And the near they are compared to the variable action heroes pre time skip monkey d luffy the mcfarlane toys mk11 spawn the neca new york comic-con exclusive batman and the neca alpha predator and i think this line here scales better with seven inch scale figures more over six inch scale figures and then here they are compared to the ESH Figuarts Final Battle version Mark 85, the ESH Figuarts Justice League Wonder Woman, the Mesco 112 Vigilante Suit Daredevil, and the Hasbro Black Series Kit Fisto. And as you can see, all three of these figures are a bit taller than all of these other figures here. But if you really did want to, you could make them work with 6-inch scale figure lines. And then here they are compared to the Storm Collectible Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mefex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here they are compared to the ESH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's get moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and since they all share the same body mold, I'll just show you the articulation on one of the figures here. And he has the least amount of armor hindering his articulation, so I will show you Hyena's movement. So the, the neck joints here, I believe it's a barbell type joint. You can get them to look up about that much. And they do look down pretty well, and then you do get really nice pivot with the uh with the neck joints there and then of course they do swivel and then we do just get a torso joint with these figures and that is on a uh a ball peg or a barbell type joint but you can see the nice motion you get out of it so they go forward about that much back about that much decent pivot and then swivel as well then the arms here they're on a, a ball hinge as you can see right there so they do go out to the sides about 90 degrees they do go up and down and you can pivot the joint back and forth up there which is pretty cool and then we do get single jointed elbows that just about hit 90 degrees then you do get the swivel there as well since there isn't true bicep swivel on these figures then we do get a ball hinge on the wrist so that does swivel and it also hinges back and forth and for the legs here they do kick forward about 90 degrees the loin cloth does get in the way a little bit they do go to the back just a tiny bit let's see if they can Jean-Claude Van Damme it and they definitely can so pretty good leg movement on these figures then we do get a little bit of a of a hip swivel and be careful you could see from the loincloth paint rub once again it's like god damn it man then we do get double jointed knees there and they do bend back a little more than 90 degrees then the ankles we do get a swivel there so that is definitely a big plus they do hinge up they do hinge down really well and then we do get the forward facing pin rocker but since you get the swivel on the ankle you can make it look more normal and put it over to the side there and there is no toe hinge so overall the articulation on these guys are pretty damn good not the best but I, I tell you man I had a ton of fun posing these figures around and you could get them in some really really cool looking poses and I'm about to show you some of those poses right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the Wave 1 Combatants Fight for Glory figures. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate these figures with detail, I'd have to give them a 7.5. Articulation, I'd give them an 8.5. Accessories, I'd give them an even 9. And then the overall quality, I'd have to give an even 8. If you would like to know the price more to buy these figures, I did get mine off eBay. That's really your only place you can find them. I know other stores do carry them, but I believe they're all sold out. And eBay is the only place you can get them as of right now. And Ageless Geeks does not carry these in stock, but you can get your other figures and collectibles from agelessgeeks.com. But if you can't find something on their website, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.
Tea and Aaron. Today in... Similar to the articulated icons lines. Lines. Damn it. The ESH figure arts. Blah, blah. Vigilante suit. Daredevil and the Hasbro. Almost said Marvel Legends. Damn you. And then he is included with an helmet. An, an, come on, let's open this package. Oh, look at that. It's already open pretty much. I would be ashamed if I worked for that courier service. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Oh man, let's get rid of these damn boxes and get the figures out of them already. Hopefully nothing is broken. Everything does seem like it's okay, I hope. I hope.